Hi everyone, this is Card Says. Let's now begin the December 2022 monthly and weekly tarot reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. Thank you everyone for tuning in, liking, and subscribing. We have a playlist for the other zodiac signs that might interest you located at the description box and pinned comment section. Now let's jump right into your reading Virgo we need one card for your career and finance one card for Virgo's career and finance you have the eight of cups let's see what is for your romance five of wands And challenge. What is the challenge for Virgo? The Eight of Wands. Now, for your career and finance, you have the eight of cups virgo and this means that for some of you you may be resigning from your previous job there is a decision that is being made when it comes to your career so for some of you this means a resignation you're moving away from the previous job that you have because the eight of cups is the energy of walking away moving away from something that you have built and even if you built it yourself you see it as something as no longer serving your highest good and so you are working you are walking rather away from it you are working your way out of this situation for some of you in your romance department with the five of wands there is a competition for some of you when it comes to your love life but for some of you uh, this competition is not actually um something uh worth having a squabble that's what i see when it comes to your love life this um competition is simply it's like you're not exactly competing with a person that's what i'm feeling with you with with your love life virgo what i the competition the competition that i see is that your person is spending more time doing other things but it's not necessarily a competition when it comes to romance but you are competing for this person's attention for this person's love and affection because this person may be focusing his or her time with his or her friends or a job or career or you know it's just that this your person's attention is like elsewhere and it could even be the other way around you know your person wants to spend time with you but you are really busy this holidays with a lot of things and when it comes to your challenges you have the eight of wands upright so things are speeding up for you for example you are resigning you are immediately getting all the documents that you needed the approvals that you needed when you are resigning but there is still the challenge of like it's moving too fast and you will need to have to keep up okay so we had a minor interruption so for your challenge we have the eight of wands 
and this is basically saying that things are moving way too fast and you may need some more time to keep up with this pace if for example you are resigning from your job you know you are actually getting the approval and the other documents right away but it's like you're confused as or or not not, necess not necessarily confused but it's like there is this element of like shock or surprise why are things moving way too fast and it's just that you're not used to it it's like before when you're trying to resign from a company they're taking their sweet time to let you go but this time around like you're so surprised like after everything that you've built after everything that you've done for this company they're just letting you go just like that so that becomes the challenge for you for some of you this month of december now let's see your weekly reading for this december 2022 big one what is the what what does virgo need to know for week one eight of pentacles in reverse what does virgo need to know for week two ten of cups what does virgo need to know for week three four of cups what does Virgo need to know for oh, week four? Oops, yeah, we have falling cards, but we're not gonna take that. It's too many. What does Virgo need to know for the highest good in week four? Death rebirth. And this is an exciting time for you, Virgo. That's I can I can say that much. Now, for some of you on the first week of December, this is like the beginning of your resignation phase. You're signing from work or um, letting go of a business that you've worked on before. And it's not necessarily mean that you are being lazy. It's just that you, you can foresee things now. You know, you know which direction to take because with the eight of pentacles when it's upright you are continuously working on something but on the first week of december you have this eight of pentacles in reverse energy and this is the energy of slowing things down and also taking less work since you are resigning already you are doing less work for this job for this company and the good thing about this is that you are giving yourself more time in order to work on the things that are important to you. That is why on the second week, you have the Ten of Cups. This is a good time to spend with family, a good time to spend with friends. This is also a time of abundance. So... You may be receiving a good uh, windfall, a good amount of windfall this um, second week of December. Now, for some of you, this is a celebratory time, like an incredibly happy time. For some of you, you may be even consider going to the beach. And for your third week you have the four of cups and i see this that this is you pondering your next move because of this um resignation or like um moving away that you are are doing 
when it comes to your career in finance it's like um you're considering an offer from from the universe or from another company or you are considering opening up a new business and what's on offer for you is something that is unknown to you but you would want to take this opportunity because this is a blessing from the universe this is something that you've probably never done before and that is why you're there there is this energy of reluctance or really trying your best to reconsider this so you would want to keep an eye out for opportunities for you on the third week of december because the universe is going to offer you something magnificent and on the fourth week and this is your end of the year outcome basically you are ending the year right with the death card upright and this is good for you virgo it's like the change that you are wishing for is actually being granted by the universe itself so for some of you you took this excuse me you took this offer you took this gift from the universe and it gave you this change that your life spirit is saying desperately need and so yeah that is a great end of the year for you and for some of you this could be a parting like since you've been planning to move out of that company or the job work environment or school or something you are actually um, getting that by the end of the year and yeah that's basically your december 2022 now let's move on to your yes or no reading via the astro dice so that's basically the last part of this reading you can now think of your question answerable by yes or no and we clarify it using the tarot you may pause the video if you need more time and I'll be back with your answer. You have Pluto with a no. Now let's try to see what this no is about. Let's clarify what does Virgo need to know with this no two of pentacles in reverse um, this is saying that there could be an initial imbalance at first but you would want to really prioritize things because y you shouldn't be taking on things that it's like y you you shouldn't be eating up more than you can chew something like that so prioritize things and yeah that's the message that has been channeled for you virgo Happy holidays everyone. I do hope this reading provided you with some clarity as you go along with healing and your soul's journey. Consider tapping like and subscribe to help the channel. Feel free to check the description box for more info. Keep safe. See you on our next video. Thank you for watching. This is Card Says.